The new Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K, the full frame camera from Blackmagic, and the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K, the camera comparison that you never knew you needed to see. There's a reason why we're comparing these two cameras. And the comparison is more of how they work together. Let's take a look at some footage shot with both of these cameras. Back in 2014, I purchased the production 4K camera. I did a couple of short films with it. I did a feature film with it. I eventually upgraded to the Pocket 6K Pro because I became full-time with my filmmaking videography and I needed something that had a higher ISO than 800. I also liked the features of this camera as far as being able to rig it out on a cage, having the false color guides, having everything on this monitor. In a few instances, the production 4K outshined the Pocket 6K. When the full frame camera came out, having full frame and having open gate, those are the two options that mattered for me. So let's get back into these images and see how much tweaking had to be done to get this footage to match. What I did in this clip was this is on the full frame and I lined this up so that we could match when we go to the production 4K. You know, as far as I'm looking at details in the shrubs and in the grass, here's an instance where you can see the difference in the full frame sensor versus the crop because I'm standing in the same position. I'm looking at the color of the tree. It's a little bit more of a yellow cast in here, but that is fixable. Here's a good example where we're looking at the differences between the green in the laurels and the green in the grass. But as far as the greens, I'm happy with that. The point of this is, can we match the footage? So here's the cat. What I was able to do is going into the waveform and in the midtones, grabbing the red and bringing that to a more adjustable level. And this is what we came up with. Now, it may not always be easy to match this footage. And in this particular instance, we're going to see a glaring difference between the two. And I don't think that it's going to make one better than the other. It's just different. And it becomes more of a challenge when you're trying to match this footage and make it work. So let's take a look. Let me start with the full frame with the 14 millimeter lens. I'm really wide. It's pushing the foreground out like a super wide angle lens like this will do. Uh, but I'm looking at the greens and, the, and in particular, I'm looking at the blue in the sky for this instance, because once we get to that same lens on the production 4K, see how much we lost in the foreground, because it is acting more like a 28 or 24. To me, this is the biggest difference is the rolling shutter that you have on the full frame 6K and on the production 4K, it is a global shutter. So you won't get that wobble, uh, especially if you're going handheld or doing whip hands. It does make a difference. I think these cameras are going to work very well together. Proper planning is going to help too. So knowing what the production camera is going to shoot versus what the full frame is going to shoot is going to help the production run better and look better. And the bottom line is, it's the image quality of these cameras. They really shine in studio setups. And by studio, I mean if you're in someone's house and you can set up lights. The production camera does shoot cinema DNG. So if you're looking to really push the image, if you're looking to do green screen type of work, or if you're in an environment where you don't have control of the lighting and you need to fix that later, cinema DNG would certainly be the way to go. With the Blackmagic full frame 6K, you only have the option to shoot in B-roll. There's no ProRes. On the 4K, I think ProRes works great. Everything that we looked at in this video was ProRes. Big advantage to these cameras comes in is the quality that you're getting, that image. It's amazing. It's a great image. I love Sony cameras. I love Canons. I shoot on them. I prefer the Blackmagic because of the look that you can get. Thank you for watching this far. It means a lot. Please hit that like and subscribe. Better yet, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these cameras. Um, I am really enjoying the full frame cinema camera. It's been working out great for me. I was able to take it out on two jobs so far and it did not disappoint. And um, I'm really excited to have it. I also feel like I have new lenses 
now that I'm in the full frame world again. I started there with the Canon and then was in the Super 35 with the production in the pocket. So it's nice to have things open up. And um, once again, enjoying the image quality between these two cameras. So thank you for watching everybody. Peace.